Hi, I'm Ian Sutherland, and today I'm going to see if I can build and deploy a Remix app in five minutes. Now, that's not a lot of time, so let's jump right in. So here's what we're starting with. I've got a basic Remix app here. I just ran npx create Remix uh, and, and created an app with TypeScript. Uh, I've also installed Tailwind and added a few custom styles. Uh, and so you can see here, I've created a little under construction page. So if we take a look in the browser here, you can see what that looks like. And I've also deployed this uh, to Vercel. I just did the initial deploy because it takes a little bit longer. Uh, I also set up a custom domain name uh, and an environment variable. So here's what we're starting with. So let's jump back to the code. So I think the first thing we're going to need here is a nice title. Okay. For the Remix fan club. All right. And now every good website needs a hit counter or a view counter, obviously. Uh, and so let's let's go ahead and make one of those. Uh, I happen to have an API that I that I built for uh, my blog to track page views. So we're going to use that uh, to track views to the Remix Fan Club page. Now, in order to implement our view counter, we're going to need to add a loader function. So first thing we're going to do is just import some stuff here that we need. Okay, and now we're going to declare our loader here. Thank you, GitHub Copilot. So the first thing we're going to want to do is uh, make a request to our view counter API, which is just at this URL here. And then we need to send a few parameters. We're going to make a post request. We're going to find some headers. We're going to send an API key, uh, which is defined here as an environment variable. Uh, and then next, we're going to send a post body. Uh, and for this API, the body is just a slug. So normally this would be something like blog and the, the name of a, uh, a blog post. Uh, for this, we'll just use something a little different. So we've got Remix Fan Club there. And that's everything we're going to need to send to our API. And then after we uh, make that request, we need to get the results. Uh, as a JSON object. And then we're going to return the number of views here. Uh, so the API gives us back uh, the number of views as a number. So I'm just going to convert that to a string, add a little bit of padding there. And uh, I think. Oh, it looks like I've got a uh, typo or something here. I think I'm missing a, there we go. All right, so here we go. We've got our loader function, makes a request to our API. Uh, when we make this request, it increments the count by one uh, and then returns the number. And then we're, we're passing that on here uh, to our uh, component down below. And so now in order to get the data in the component, we're going to call the use loader data hook, and then we're going to get the count out of that, which
which is stored in the views property. And then finally, we will display the count right there in our component. So let's see if this works. Oh, there we go. It looks like it is working. And if I reload the page, there we go. You can see the view counter going up. So there we go. We've got a basic app here, making an API request, passing some data through to our component. Now, the next step is to deploy this uh, to Vercel. But before I do that, I'm just going to pop a little more fun content in here that we'll take a look at in a minute. And then let's jump over to our terminal. And I'm just going to run Vercel deploy prod. And now we wait. This part does take about 30 to 45 seconds. So this seems like a good time for me to introduce myself since I didn't really have time to do that at the beginning. Uh, as I said, my name is Ian Sutherland. Uh, I work at a Canadian fintech startup called Neo Financial. Uh, I'm one of the engineering leads there. And I also lead our developer experience team. So we work on internal developer tools uh, and other things like that. Uh, in addition to that, I'm also one of the maintainers of Create React app. Uh, and I also work on uh, the Node.js project, primarily as a part of the tooling working group. And I'm going to be actually doing some upcoming talks about some of that work at uh, OpenJS World the first week of June. And I'm also going to be speaking at Cascadia JS at the end of August. So maybe I'll see some of you there. All right, our deploy is finished. So let's take a look. Here it is, our amazing Remix fan club page, complete with animated GIFs and marquee tag. OK, there you have it. It looks like you can build and deploy a Remix app in about five minutes. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see some of you at RemixConf.